Hey everybody, happy Sunday. It's Caleb again. Uh, today's topic is uh, how to deal with people who try to convince me that I am mentally ill just for being transgender. That depends on who they are and how they're trying to convince me. Um, if it's a perfect stranger, I might feel them out and find out if they are just ignorant or if um, they're just really trying to be jerks. And if they're trying to be jerks, I will leave them alone. If they're just ignorant and they seem open to learning something, I will educate them to the best of my ability or I'll send them, uh, I'll do that and I'll send them in, uh, places online to get actual ed information. If there's someone that knows me and has known me for a little while, and, and I'm using this example because it's, it's happened in my life, someone who's known me before transition and then after uh, we're deering, and they kind of bring it up in a snide way or whatever. Um, that's that's grounds for me now. That's grounds for an immediate eviction from my life. Um, and if it's someone who um, has never knew me before I came out and started transition and did not know I was trans and then found out and tried to convince me. Um, when this whole time they've been fine knowing me as male and now all of a sudden it's, you know, something has changed. Um, I might feel those waters out depending on who they are and, and how they're dealing with the situation and try to educate them. But if I find that, that it's really not worth my effort, um, I will evict them from my life. That's just where I'm at now. I guess I've gotten to a point where I, I have very little patience for nonsense like that. Um, I know that I am not mentally ill just because I'm transgender. Um, something that throws people off is, is when they say, you know, you're, when, when they, they try to convince me that, you know, it's a mental deficiency of somehow, uh, in some way. Um, one thing that seems to throw people off is I'll just ask them, oh, is men being mentally ill a bad thing? You know, because then I can, uh, there's there's different kinds of black and white thinking, different kinds of like binaries. I think in the trans community, we're pretty aware of the binary that has male and female, um, that standard that we all seem to be held to and all people are held to, whether they're aware of it or not. But we're aware of a spectrum. There's a similar binary um, of you're either healthy or you're mentally ill. You know what I mean? And and they, those are also seems to be equated with like healthy is good and mentally ill is bad. That's just another stereotype. You know, I have a lot of friends that are cisgender and are mentally ill. They have mental illness, they have schizophrenia, they have bipolar, they have depression, they have anxiety, they've got some combination of them. So, you know, um, it's just an aspect of who they are, something they deal with, part of their life experience, their human experience. It doesn't make them good or bad. Their experiences are not good or bad. They're just experiences um, and struggles and things that can sometimes uh, enrich their lives and, and are sources of gifts for them. My, my friend who has schizophrenia is probably, and I don't know if this is because she has schizophrenia or if she's just an inherently creative person, but she has insights into aspects of life because of her experiences living with schizophrenia that are, wow, they've really helped me open my mind to um, creativity and the world around me and, and different ways of viewing the world and perceptions. Um, at the same time, it can also add some barriers and struggles for her. So, so I'll turn it around on people who you know, accuse me of being mentally ill because I'm transgender and, and say, you know, so being mentally ill is bad. And they usually backtrack real quick. No, 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 it's not bad. You should just get help. And then I'll just say, well, I have a therapist. So I will be sure to bring this up to my therapist. And I mean, what else can they say? You know, they're not qualified. And even if they are qualified, they're not my therapist. They're not my provider. So that's just an easy boundary to set up. You're not my therapist. We have a friendship. You know very well it's unethical to go into this, and I already am seeking therapy. So, you know, now what? You know, um, and if they pursue it, I evict them from my life. It all all roads lead to Rome in that way for me. Where if they continue pursuing the idea that I am somehow 
mentally ill for existing, basically, and that that's somehow equated with less than or bad. Uh, it's just sort of uh, you're gonna be a, we're gonna get a divorce. You know, we're gonna you're gonna be evicted from my life. Um, it's taken me time to get to this point, and I'm not 100% with it, but I'm better than I was. But I know where I stand. I know better who I am now than I used to, and I'm far more confident. So if you're if you're newer to transition, and if you're newer tra to transition and you're a younger person, um, I was older when I came out, but I still had struggles with, with confidence and, and uh, assertiveness. But if you're newer to coming out, just hang in there. Don't be afraid to evict people from your life. Um, I don't want to lie and say it gets better because life doesn't change. I changed. I've become stronger. I've become more confident. Um, so I, I just want to encourage you, stay, stay in there. Stay in the game. Hang in there. Uh, don't let people tell you who you are or what you're worth. Um, you're priceless. Just hang in there. Thanks. And if you want to uh, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be a paper boy, leave your email, which I'm a paper boy, it's just, you'll do something like this. Leave your email and I will uh, get you connected with Ty so you can send in your audition video. Thanks. Have a great Sunday. Bye.